Father and the Lord wishes us all well. Amen. Somebody is not happy.
So we want to change from CD to uh, safer to CD there is hard a little bit. Yeah, but to God be the glory, he is now having his own place. So I say, brother, those women that that woman, that church woman that used to cook for you, you have to take care of your own thing. Home. So he said he's working on that. So some of you that have the grace to support the missionaries, you need help over there. Amen. He doesn't have evangelism sticker. We went to the Kunyo market. The village, they only go to market once in a week. So when you go there, when you go to the market, then make sure that you buy everything for the week. If not, I come back you. In the village, they don't sell food items because it's farmland, people farm. If you're looking for something to buy, you find it difficult, you don't get it. So if you go to market, so when he went to the market, he was using manpower to do evangelism. Can you imagine? There is noise everywhere. Nobody is hearing anybody. And he was doing it. And by the grace of God, our Father got him a megaphone. Yes. 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 So these are the things that it's not only you that is uh, supporting the work of God. He's also doing it. My brother needs an evangelist speaker. I need one. I'm thinking of when we each have it. Don't worry. When we get there, when we get to that bridge, we will cross it. Yeah. But he needs it. He needs it. Because the work there is great. It's great. Hallelujah. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. Well, um, I want to ask a question. I want to start by this, by asking a question, which I think, you know, I bless God for the Bible studies this morning. God bless you also for my uh, Betty. And I, during the course of the Bible study, some of the things I will be saying, I, I think I shared already, but by the grace of God, God will help us to, to know more things. Amen. Sister, I ask a question that uh, how, when you find yourself being, not being consistent in what you do, how do you help yourself? So in Togo, I was, actually as I began with the Zoom people, I asked a question that how do you receive the fire of God? How do you sustain it? Because these are two different things. Receiving the fire of God is different from you sustaining the fire of God. When a man sets you on fire, it's a man. You burn. Amen. When you set yourself on fire, it's suicide. And when God sets you on fire, and that's what we call revival. So, how do you get revived and you sustain that fire that you lose. Before our father traveled out to Togo and back to Liberia, there was a program that we did here and every woman was on fire. The whole church. Even in Togo, we did a five day program, five days program. It was power packed. God moved mightily in our midst and everybody was set on fire. There are some people that have been set back into motion, like into back into their main core. The grace that was over them, they were being revived into it. Hallelujah. So, how do you sustain the fire that you receive? Amen. Now, whenever you are in the presence of God, or you are in the church, it is easy for you to catch fire. Because a word can come, as I'm speaking now, somebody here, there is something that maybe I might be saying, can catch your fire. But now, when does fire enter your bones so now? How do you sustain it? Because when we did the program, the women program, many women were on fire. When I came 
some some time ago, three days, my wife was all over. They were on phone praying, midnight prayer. Amen. I said, oh, this is good. When I was in Togo, every time I, I called that then her phone was when I called her, she said, when it's getting to a certain time, she said, my husband, I'm going to pray. Made my prayer. She maintained a certain call. And I said, wow, this is something unusual of her. So I believe that every woman in the church is, is having the same seed and the same fires. Amen. So I begin to think for myself that hey, this is going to be a big challenge for we, the men in the church. Because whenever a woman is on fire like this, there is something coming. And before then, our father said that it is a time that he is, you know, bringing up women. He is training the women. He is training them to take the position. Especially people like, like somebody like uh, Rebecca, somebody like Sarah, to come back to that position, that original state that they were before. So our fathers um, in that position. Just a little hallelujah. Amen. So our father's assignment this year, he said, was that is to cause a certain revival or certain fire to cut into the women. And once a woman is on fire, the church. Many things will change. But the question is that when you receive this fire now into your bosom, now that you receive the fire in your bosom, by staying in the presence of God, by, you know, worshiping the Lord every now and then, how do you then now sustain that fire which that Amen. So one of the things I, I was looking at is that Hallelujah. Excuse me, Father, please, can I say something to you? Yes, can I talk to you? Can I say something to you? Do you understand what I said? I see the hand of the Lord upon you. My mm. God wants you to keep yourself pure for Him. Do you understand what I said? The Bible said, I have found David and I have anointed him. The Lord has found you. Amen. The Lord has found you, but He wants you to keep yourself pure. There are certain issues around you now, but God has taken care of it. But all He is required, the question from you is that you keep yourself. So, now that I'm talking, keep yourself focused on the Lord. 
that you will be able to lay hold on that which is yours. Because there are so many things in God for you. Do you understand? Do you, see, do you understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So one of the things that you do is that to keep the fire or to sustain the fire of God is a labor of priesthood. Leviticus chapter 6 verse 2. Jeremiah said, that word I have I found, and I eat it every morning. The fire which you receive, do you keep it burning every morning? So I'm saying that the grace that comes with the fire which you receive is always there. And you must keep doing that, that thing that came with the fire to keep the fire burning. 
So if the firewood is not put in the in the cotton, eh, the fire will go off. When we're in the village, we see our mothers do maple. I don't know how to call it in English. The pot, the traditional one, the one they use uh, clay to do. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Uh, okay. So one of the things they do is that, you know, in my house, when they cook, they, my grandmother would say that, don't let, don't let the fire go off. He will always, she will always tell you that, make sure that there is a, a wood in the fire. And those of you will make sure that he gather strong wood. At the same time, the one that is not strong, the one that will quickly spark up the fire. But the strong wood is to keep the fire. So how strong are you as a, as a priest? The stronger you are, the stronger your fire upon your altar keep it. But if you become reluctant in the things of God, in the ways of the Lord, your fire will always go off. The duty of our Father is to teach us and make sure that we come and our heart comes to the understanding of the will of God. And not only that, you have the responsibility as a child of God to put the word of God inside you. Now, if you don't put the word of God inside of you, how can the Holy Spirit do it with you? Now, the second thing you do is that the study of the word. To keep the fire burning is the study of the word. The study of the word. The study of the word. Every morning. Every morning. Jeremiah 15, 16. Every morning. He said that that word have I found and I eat it and it has become a rejoicing in my heart. It means that the word of God, you must eat it. You must feed upon it. So long as you eat, every day we eat, isn't it? The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded from the mouth of the Lord. So, to, so long as we, we eat the word of God, also must, we must eat it. There's so need the word of God to be transformed. Say the word of God. Word of God. Proverbs 14 to 23. A man who is not planted by the Spirit is a waste. It's a waste. You indeed receive the fire of God by staying in His presence, focusing on Him. Not being distracted anytime you come to church. So it means that anytime you come to church and you are being distracted, there is no way your spirit man can be working. Your fire can come by the announcer announcing. Oh, by the grace of God, they say we have a program this week. And it's what pulling that struggle, fighting beyond what the flesh. So you receive the word. You you when you when you are not distracted, when you are in church, you are always speaking. You are always speaking. chapter 4 verse 20 my son attend to my words incline thy ears unto my saying let them not depart from thy eye keep them in the midst of thy heart for they are life unto those that find them and help to all their flesh hallelujah Amen. my son we have two
Please speak it again. Take the verse 20 again. I already quoted by this.
Jeremiah 17, 5 to 6. That said the Lord, Curse be the man that trusted in man, and make a flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. For he shall be like the hell in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in the salt land, and not inhabited. Amen. Amen. He said, Cast is the man who trusted in in a man and whose and make makes flesh his strength, whose heart departed from the Lord. The moment you start trusting in the Lord, your heart has already departed from the Lord. That's what he's saying. Come again. The moment you, you yeah, excuse me, thank you. The moment you start trusting in a man, your heart has already departed from the Lord. You see, blessings come from men to men, but men should not be our confidence. So anytime you begin to trust in a man.
So they say that, some say that, oh, I pray every time. No, you don't just pray every time. You must have time that you meet God. You must have time. When you look at the life of Jesus, there is a time you meet God, you meet the Father. You hear, it is written, and he presented himself. In the ninth hour, in the tenth hour, he has time that he go and meet the Father. You don't just pray anytime. So one of the ways to keep the fire upon the altar bed is prayer. The way of prayer is the way of the altar. Now we only know altar in negative side, but what about the positive side? The Bible spoke of a man called Samuel. The Bible said that in his day, when he set up an altar called Ebenezer, in his day, the Philistine couldn't enter Israel again. It's all the days of Samuel. He knew something that was the man of prayer, the way of the Lord. It wasn't the righteousness of Jacob that caused him to have the encounter he had when he saw the angels ascending and descending, but it's because the father, the grandfather, had what? Built an altar. But that's when he had hit that place, he received. Because already he stole the blessings of the, the, the brother. He was running away. Even though he was the custodian of the Abrahamic blessing, yet he became a poor. Most of us, one of the things the fire that we receive will give us is to make you an unfortunate. But we have, because of our because desire of things, we have let it go. We have let it go. We have let it go. It's no longer burning. It's no longer burning. The shoe you wear five years ago, do you still have it? The same way that shoe fade away, the same way you fade away if your desire is working on the things of this world. Until you know that it's getting to Sunday, so you'll be the one preaching. Now, Saturday, before you'll be looking for messages on Google. Someone will never explain to you the way. Verse 10. 
with my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandment. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Thou, thy word have I hid in my heart. With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. You won't say what? Your presence. Commandment. Let me not wander away. Without the word of God in your heart, in you, you will always wander away from the presence of God. You, 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 you wander. Go. You, you go right now. You go right now. <laughs> when your eyes is fixed on the things of this world, when the last of this world enter your heart, that away, you want that away. I'm growing. Some some people, you know, is it people say they want to marry, but they don't know what God's word says concerning marriage. I want to walk in the anointing, but what did God say concerning anointing? You don't know it. You are not aware. You don't know anything about it. You are a waste. See, he said it's divine for us to be alive. I'm telling you the truth. The Bible says when man sleeps, there are things that goes on. Eh? So when you find yourself living, it's divine. So it must be taken seriously. You can't be in the house of God and yet be reluctant on the things of God. No. They become untruthful to one another. Your fire will quench my now. This is some of the things that quench the fire. Untruthfulness. The word have I hidden in my heart. Can I tell you a secret? The first time you know that word was my angel that recited upon me in this church. You remember? Some children. Come and say, that way I have everything in my hand that I may not sin against you. ourselves continually to pray and, and to the ministry of the word. word. See, Apostle Peter, he knows if they don't give themselves to these two things, eh, that way they receive all that they have labored for will become a thing. They know. Everything you have labored for all this month, the past month, if you don't give yourself to these things, it will become vain. You will become a puppet in the heart of the devil. You will be buffeted by him. There are many people that are, they receive classes from the Lord and the person says, yes, they are being buffeted by the devil. Why? Because they don't give themselves to the ministry of the way and the ministry of prayer. I don't know. The, the way of prayer is the way of the altar. the work of God came, that person became your enemy. That day, for that 
nothing here. I'm not talking to you because you touch certain things you shouldn't touch. We can't go on to do the evangelism because many things we have crowded our way with many things. With many things. The word of God is no longer our dry force. No, it's no longer. It's about the things that we will eat or where we will sleep or the marriage or to have a child. This thing will draw you back. It will draw you back. The fire which you receive will quench. The Bible said the priest must keep that altar burning. The fire must not go out. Every morning, every morning, every morning, it must be put So, Apostle uh, Peter said, We, we, we will give ourselves to what? The word, the prayer, and the ministry. Now, if we ask somebody now, how long do you pray? Some of us are going to sleep. Father, I thank you for today. I give you praise because you have blessed my day. A believer, at least one hour, you must pray. At least. At least. At least. At least one hour. It must not be less than an hour. At least one hour. One hour. It will keep it. You see, so I told the church, the new branch you are opening, I told them that. Can we do something? No, I think the, the old one said, can we do something? Let's give God a time that we'll be meeting him every day. If it's four o'clock in the morning, do it that way. If it's mid midnight, four o'clock morning, do it that way. Let's do it for one month and see your life. We will all do it together. Let's see something. Rebecca, when she came to the, you know that she left when she came in, like, before she I spoke with her, and I said, ah, what is going on? And she said, oh, this and that and that and that. And I said, no, you know what you wanted. So why, why would somebody advise you this way and you say, you are going, let's come back. So she, when she came back, so when she I saw her and I said, ah, what do you want to go to do for me? So she mentioned two things. And I asked her questions. I said, before we leave here, we leave, we leave our way, we will find that which you want. So after the Thursday program, she will send me a message that I must talk. I have seen that which I lost for 11 months. I have found it. Now, the person, he did not only found it to him, the person actually brought it from the US. He brought it. And when the person came, the girl called her. The girl she didn't know that she, he came home. She just decided to go on him and find out what was supposed to be. So when he called, the, the man asked him, he asked her, what are they giving you people in the church? That's the question the man asked him. He said, it's like you people, they are giving people something in the church. What is it that they are giving you church? Because the girl has learned to pray upon the altar. It's not about prophecy, it's not about anything. But she herself has learned to walk the way of the order. Hallelujah. So, the fire which we receive, don't just let it dry off. Keep it by distance. Sustain it by distance. The labor of pressure. Steady life, pray that, being truthful, being truthful. You know that you can lie to everybody, but you can lie to yourself. You know that, yeah. You can lie to everybody, you can lie to me, but yourself, you say, Whoa, you can lie back. You see, you lie. You can lie to everybody, but we can never lie to ourselves. 
Why not talk in class to a point? Yourself within you know that this one, uh, this slide. Uh, <laughs> Some of us have clogged up our own well with our own living. You clock up your own well, the well which you will die from fresh water and take and quench your death. We, we do what? We clock it up with death with your own living. Some of us have done that. So don't clock up your own way with that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Keep the fire burning. The fire keep it burning. Keep it burning. Sustain your own fire. So that's how I was speaking to one sister. I said, ah, when you work, it's made of resistance. There are many secrets in the kingdom which many, 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 many people don't know. When you work, it's a system. Speak to the system to work for you. When you work, it's made up with systems, right? You have advantage as a child of God to, to overturn that system to work for you. So speak to the system. Me, my, our father taught me, anytime we are entering another country, the recent declaration. The influence over that country will not dominate you. No. He taught me. So me, I learned it. So every time I'm crossing, I am declaring. I am declaring. I am declaring. So what are we doing with the fire we receive? How are we sustaining it? Our untruthfulness to one another will cause our fires to quench. Sister to sister, brother to brother. Why? Because we don't know that which we receive is precious. It was Jesus who told the woman, he said that we will not cast that which belongs to children to all to dogs. Why? We don't cast precious things or pearls to dogs or swine. Because they don't know what it is. They will trample that on it. So we have received something precious. Now, a dog used there is a metaphor. You see, a dog has a character. The character of a dog is to go back to eat vomit. There are some Christians that, are, that have dog life. They always return back to that masturbation or return back to what that program. But a swine, <laughs> he has a certain what stronghold that he, he returns to all kinds of sin. A, a swine like Christian is possessed. It's easy to possess. Let me put it that way. When Jesus was casting the demon, what did he put it? So you see, let's keep the altar bed. Let's keep the altar bed. And if you do all this thing here, then the demons will come. You say, I want that. What do you think you are doing? You are praying now. Hey, I don't mind. Let your focus. 
that which you receive, make it your own. Catalan bank, make it your own. Lay hold of it and make it your own. Make it your own. Make it your own. You'll be able to overcome. When you begin, you know. Over there, the, the, the pastor there showed us a video in the church. Pastor Chris showed a video in the church about a young guy who was having issues. And he was talking to one of the friends. Now, any time he's going to he take his document to get a job, they will give he, they go there to, they will give to the other person. Even if that person has something doing already, they will still give it to him. And if he does not have anything to do, and the brother said, ah, do you try, try prayer? Man? You are a child of God. Do you pray? So he said, begin to tell me, I used to be on fire, you see. And he lost it. So the thing that normally comes with the fire, you see, any time a man receives fire, there is a grace that accompanies it. So you must keep doing that thing that that comes with the fire to keep the fire remain. If you don't keep doing it, the fire will quench. If it's truthfulness, be truthful. Some of us, when you receive the fire, you realize that your whole life, your life every morning when you wake up, worship. You are just worshiping the Lord. You are just worshiping the Lord. When you are somewhere, even when you are reading the Bible, you are praying. Some of us, you are praying. Keep it. Keep it going. If you don't keep doing that thing, your fire will go off. So the brother begins to pray. The first night, he prayed for five minutes. He begin to stretch himself. And sleep. The second night, the same thing. The third night, the same thing. But after one month, he had a dream. He was being tied down. When he wake up, come and see prayer. Six hours. <laughs> Meanwhile, he put the alarm on 12 o'clock. When the alarm blew, you just. Like, when he had a dream, he was being tied down. He wake up 12 o'clock. He prayed six hours. Six hours speaking in tongues. Some of us here, how many minutes do you speak in tongues? Because one of the things tongue speaking does is to quicken your, your, your being. It edifies you. Maybe you don't speak in tongues, but you must, there must be a, a, a way, a system you develop for yourself that will help you to keep the fire. Maybe. If it's thanking Jesus, every now and then, you are just thanking him. Some of us cannot thank Jesus for 30 minutes. Just saying that, thank you, Jesus. That you can do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning that. Yeah, I'm learning, and it's working for me. It's working for me. When I, when I begin to say that, eh, the Holy Spirit begins to put scriptures in my mind. And my mind is focused on it. As I'm saying, thank you, Jesus. I am, you know, logic things. I am declaring in my mind. Not only saying it. It's working for me. Mm-hmm. But the Bible said, if you say what is right for us, so, yeah. Yeah. In prayer, you can't thank even Jesus for five minutes. It's seriously. When we raise the prayer of thanksgiving now, many of us will not be able to do it. We will start asking, we will start demanding for things. Meanwhile, the prayer point is thank God for your life. Do you know why? Because we don't have the word of God enough in us. We don't have it in our heart. Because when you have the word of God, you know, once you begin to, be, you lift up your voice in prayer, you know, you know, it will come back to you. It, I said that the, the, it is the responsibility of a man to put the word of God in his heart, but the responsibility of the Holy Spirit to, to do what? To use the word to do that which he has to do. Holy Spirit is the administrator of God's word. But you as a man, you have the responsibility as a man to put the word of God there. If you don't put it there, the Holy Spirit cannot work. It can work. It can work. So, when you raise up prayer right now for Thanksgiving, Somebody will begin to start asking, Lord, I receive. You know, you will begin to ask for something right now instead of thanking God. That's 
something to the now. Times when you go to a certain level, you're, you're, that is if you have a life of prayer. There are some people because they have, a, you know, I used to criticize people when those days, why they speak in tongues, even if they want to pray, they want to thank God, they start speaking in tongues. And so one man of God told me that maybe that person before he left home, he already is charged. So most of us, when we are coming home, when you are coming to church this morning, did you pray? We are late. We are late. We are late. I can be faster than saying thank you, Jesus. Because we are late. You are running. Thank you, Jesus. You see, A dream that came, rapture happened. You can't remember. You know, there are things men like Abraham knew. Eh? The Bible said that he has 319 so, trained servants, right? 319, 319 trained servants. But the Bible said he divided himself among them. If one man divided himself. You know, one Abraham, one Abraham is one nation. So it means that when that five nations come against him, do you know how many nations Abraham is? He becomes 390 nations. A man of prayer can think things upside down. He was a man of altar. So the fire which you receive, these are the things you do to keep them. Not you being untruthful to each other. When they come at you, you say no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep yourself at the word of God. When it comes to you, it hits you, you receive it and say, thank you, my name. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's for my betterment. Mr. Polina said it right now. That some of the things we don't understand, but God knows best. She is happy. And may that joy remain between Jesus' name. Yeah. And I saw the way she was leading praises today. You know, I see that there is some joy. As I was the bar- that was the prayer I was praying for you. Lord, let that joy that is burning in this lady remain with her. That's the prayer I was praying in my heart. Yeah. So you see, when you, you, you see, how do you call it that? Correction. When you receive it afterwards, you become joyful. You become joyful. So people like Abraham, one Abraham is one nation. So imagine he divided himself among 319 So he became 319 soldiers, uh, nations. <laughs> can you, can, wait, that five nations cannot, no wonder the Bible said he, he conquered them and bring back sports. He plundered them of their goods. He plundered them of their goods. He plundered them of their silver and gold and bring the sport back. He didn't even really touch this for because the man himself is too rich. The person who, who is, is interested in is the, 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 the brother of the cousin, Lord. The nephew. The nephew. He is not interested in this. So the way of prayer is the way of the altar. Make your tongue an altar. Make your eyes an altar. Men like Job, they said that I made a covenant with my eye. I will not be what a woman twice. We preachers we must make our tongue an altar. Because we can't just be uttering things that is not right. We speak defiling things among ourselves. And the same time, we'll be using to declare the word of the Lord. How can God move with you? No. It's impossible. We are limited in many things. Why? Because of our ways of living. Because of our ways of living. Make your life an altar. When the song that does that, Give me all in my heart. Let me see. Give me all in my heart. I give me all.
worship in heaven. I'm not tell you that ye are cause. But you perish like one of these princes because you are ignorant of your positions. My God, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us. Telebrose pa konde lepe, radise vakada pa dosha da da bari. In the name of Jesus. Romans chapter 9, the verse 4. He said, Who are Israelites? To, to whom pertains, pertains the adoption, the glory, the covenant, the giving of the law, the service of God, and the promises? Of whom are the fathers? From whom, according to the flesh, Christ came? Who is over all the eternal blessing of God. Amen. Pastor Dan, can we read the Amplified so that we pray this prayer? Amen. Romans chapter 9, reading the Amplified. For they are Israelites, and to them belong God's adoption as a nation, and the glorious presence that is Shekinah. With them were special covenants made. To them was the Lord given. To them, worship was revealed, and the promises announced. Unto us, the covenant of the Lord has been given. Unto us, the promises of God has been given. Unto us, the glory of God has been given. But yet, we are living like puppets. Look at what he said. Who are the Israelites? Who are the Israelites? He said, Unto them, they are given the covenant, the promises, the glory, the shakinah, the shakinah of God is being given. Let there be a restoration into my life. Let there be a restoration into my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for us that the Lord restore you. Not to die in life. Not to die to that grace which the God has given you. Pray for us. Mako Pelese Patisa. Empe Kuti Prakata. Sefatomba la sise pele petua. Manda bakode le petu se pele pete. Repe konda batu se fatadapa. Empe le petu se fahada batu shata. Mempe le bro se fati se te. Lord restoration. Restore us, O oh Lord, again. Revive us again. In the name of Jesus Christ. the Lord has called you into the prayer ministry but still nothing is happening the Lord has called you to be a teacher but you are not seeing any fruit of it the Lord has called you to be an evangelist but yet nothing is happening let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration oh Lord restore us Oh Lord, restore us. Say, oh Lord, uh, let there be a restoration uh, in my life. Uh, oh Lord, uh, let there be a restoration uh, in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, uh, let there be a restoration uh, in my life. In the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, uh, restore me again. Uh, restore me again. Uh, restore me again. Uh, restore me again. Uh, 
restore me again in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray, let there be a restoration, be revived again. Let the things of the flesh go. Take a put it, a put it of you in the name of Jesus. A put it of you. You are going into glory. You are going into the Shekinah of God. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a restoration. I am called to be an unfortunate. I am called to be a wonder and a sign. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I put away flesh. I put away anything that caused me to be down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makobe Lisa. Shut up. 
the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Weakness in you, sister. Also, for me, Barbara, may the Lord revive you. May the Lord strengthen you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you go to my master for one prayer for you? Yes. No prayer for you. There is a fire with our mother. Let's And from today, your life will never be the same again. 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 Anybody that is among us that is weak, receive strength in the name of Jesus. Receive grace 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 in the name of Jesus. Anything that is yours. Anything that is yours. And God has released it, but it has not yet manifested. From today, let it begin to manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. That which is yours. That which is pertinent to you. And there are demonic influences, hindrances. Today, in the mighty name of Jesus, we remove the barriers. We declare that you are broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. With speed, let it come to you. With speed, let it come to you. With speed, let it come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Anything that is against you as a woman. Anything that is against you as a woman. May the Lord give you grace to overcome it. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Any embargo upon anybody, we declare lifted up. We declare it 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 lifted up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any answer to your prayer that has been released. Yet Satan or demons has hold back that answer or that response. We declare an enforcement for the release, for a release, for a release of your blessings, of your breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any enchantment against anybody, we declare it shall not prosper. But I'm said that I have received a command to bless. A cobra this give a happy brush and a Any enchantment against anybody we declare it broken. The Bible said there is no definition, no enchantment, no sorcery against Israel. Man de brakusi fahada basisi kenya. Mato brasi se bakonde lube. Mare pekunda basi se bakiata. Meke bati se brakana ba. Any accident plot for anybody. In this week, we cancel it. 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 We cancel cancel. In the name of Jesus, any desire to have anybody to help, we refuse. We refuse the enemy access. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Any satanic desire against anybody yeah. by accident this week, we cancel it. We cancel it. We cancel it. We cancel it. In the mighty name of Jesus. And yeah. the sin is projected. There are some people that have dreams that they are sick. And when they wake up, they will sick. Truly. But any sickness projected into anybody's life, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
In the mighty name of Jesus, we nullify. Amen. We nullify. Amen. We nullify. Amen. We nullify. Amen. It shall come to naught in Jesus' name. Amen. Declare a thing that it 
will come to pass when the law has not declared. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus. And let the word concerning our life, the word of God concerning our life, be yea and amen. amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every prophecy, every good word, every good prophecy concerning our life, be yea and amen. amen. May the Lord deliver us from every evil. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.
whether your bag, whether your wallet. If you want to send it, you can send it through Momo and be a blessing. Please put me there. Offering bowl. The washes, please help me.
Pastor Betty, how much? After that, I'll put it in the group. Anybody that give me after that five CD, ten Ghana, I'll put it in the group. Pastor Ray gave five. Sister Betty, ten Ghana. So that everybody will know that after that, that's what they gave. Amen. May the Lord bless us. God bless you for giving. May God increase you. I go to myself. Maybe brown sin. Last Friday we pray. Me, the prayer went from you. I come and say, Mama, the prayer went from you. It went for me. So let it work for you too. Amen. Let's make our feet. Please, somebody here. What's his name? Three. I know dodge your mobile by Mama Lucy. Give us a wave. That's my suspense with the begging this calf and Auntie Vic with the baby at her back. Apostle, Momo, Momo, a high. That's yes. Mr. Evans. Bye, bye, Paco. God bless everybody for watching. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.